Now let's paint the body of the car. For that we'll be using primarily one color. We chose blue and we're going to cover all the major areas of the body of the car. Now just like the smaller areas that we painted, the windshield and the the front of the car where the lights and the license plate are, just like those areas are going to be outlined with a marker, so too we'll put an outline around these shapes as well, the body of the car that makes everything stand out. So it's important that when we get near the edges that the colors don't really run in to one another because we want to be able to use our marker to make nice straight lines and to um, have these areas stand out. We see that no colors are coming through from the bottom because of our base, base paint that we use, the white color, did a really good job. We see that it's starting to get its shape and the look of a, of a real car, or at least a cardboard car. You should always put some thought into your project beforehand, knowing who's going to be doing the project. If it's going to be kids, you might want to use some water-based paints that will come out easy in the wash on clothes and things like that. So it's always good to put some thought into the project as to who it's for and who's going to be doing it. And of course you can vary the project in different steps. It could be a little bit easier, a little bit more difficult, depending on how you do each individual steps and the materials that you use. Now we should put it aside and let it dry before we put any of the markers onto the car. But this is how we go ahead and apply the color to the major areas, the body of the car.